Okay, hi, I'm Jenica and I go to Cronulet High School in Concord and I'm on Council 13. Um, I'd like to gain a lot of communication and people skills from Canada because this is my first time being on ASB or Student Council and I'm kind of doing like behind the scene works as like my as a commissioner of digital media so I really like to connect with the people in my council. Hi, my name is Nick and I go to Bright Heart High School which is in Angels Camp, California. If you don't know where that is, it's Northern California. and. Um, I came to CADA to gain information to take back to my school so that they can have awesome activities. Oh, is it rolling? Oh, anyway. Hi guys, I'm Ronnie. I go to East Bakersfield High School. And my advice to you would be, say your thoughts. Because I feel like every, everyone has something to bring to the table. And no matter what it is, why deprive other people or yourself of your idea? Because even if your idea doesn't work, someone could come along with their idea and make it better. Hi, I'm Lindsay Rouser. I'm from Eastside High School down in the Antelope Valley. And I first realized that I wanted to be a leader when um, I ended up with this activities director's job. And I didn't really understand what it was until I had 40 kids looking at me who all wanted to be better people. And I realized right then and there that it was my job to figure out how to help them get where they wanted to be and be more productive citizens and appreciate themselves and the people around them more. Hi, my name is Natalie Aliotti. I'm from Council 5 and from Notre Dame High School. My advice to you CATA leaders is to never give up. There was two years in high school where I didn't make ASB, but I still wanted to be a leader and I kept that smile on my face. And here I am now back at CATA for my third year in a row. And nothing will ever stop me from being a leader because I love it so much. So don't give up on your dreams and keep pursuing them. Boom. So what I gain from CATA is a sense of camaraderie that I don't always get and I think the students get the same thing and that's why they, they love coming. Uh, it's, it's your people or we kind of call it our tribe or whatever you want to say but these, these are the people that understand why I do what I do and I get energized every summer and I always go home with new ideas just like the students. Like I'm constantly learning at camp and so I like to embrace that and and keep learning and, and keep meeting new people and keep pushing myself to do new things um, and then taking that back to my students and having, having somewhere I can call my home, like that's not, it's outside of home.